Go also has something called the blank identifier. So look at this. I've got a user type. I've got this update stats type. And uh, I've got a function called update user. You, you might see this in a lot of uh, database packages. Now, update user returns an error, but it also provides you some statistics about the update. Um, you know, Mongo does this. Um, Dgraph, I think, does this as well. So in this particular case, um, if there isn't an error on, let's say, the database call, then we get back some statistics. I could tell you from personal use, most of the time, I couldn't care less about the statistics. I just want to know if there was an error or not. So if you look at the call to update user, Notice that I'm using the blank identifier here. Now, what the blank identifier does is it says, look, if I put a variable name here, the compiler is going to complain that I'm not using it. I think it's a nice feature of the compiler. You put a variable there, it says, Bill, you declared this variable, but you're not using it. What's up? Right? It doesn't lend itself to readability. This is this case where I don't want to use the variable. I don't care about the update statistics. So the blank identifier is a way of substituting that variable name and saying, dude, I don't care about this value. Throw it out. I'm not going to, to worry about storing it. And now the compiler says, no problem. So be aware that you've got this blank identifier that can be used. Now, if you don't want anything back from the function, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. All right? Just you can do this. But there are linters out there that will notice that this thing returns an error and you're not handling it. And that's kind of a no-no in the Go community. So, um, but then again, there are exceptions. A lot of people don't realize that those, those print packages return an error. And we ignore them all the time, right? Nobody does a fumped print and then checks the error. Um, so there are exceptions to these rules. Uh, just overall, if a function returns an error, you probably should be checking it. Okay. So that's the blank identifier.